What's up guys? Chris with Bashmaster RC. I got the low seed NASCAR out here guys in the back of the Walmart just ripping it up. So I thought I'd bring a quick video for you guys today. We are running a completely castle powered NASCAR here guys. CNHL LiPo 4S Castle Mamba Micro X2 with the Castle 1010 4400 kV motor running a 57 tooth hot racing spur with a 22 tooth pinion. So let's go ahead and get it in guys. I'm gonna need some new tires here soon. I've pretty much ran the rubber off of these tires here. So we will be uh, putting some new tires on here in the next week or so. But I figured while it was so nice out here right now, I'd pull out the camera and do a little ripping for you guys. If you do not know about the Low C NASCAR, it is a 112 scale brushed RC vehicle by Losi. And of course, I have converted it to brushless and turned it into a 70 mile an hour car easily. I'm waiting on the NASCARs to come off a of back order because I want to get another one and make it strictly for racing and racing only, which means it will stay brushed. Anyway, guys, these are the original differentials that come in this car. Knock on wood, which I do not have any around at the moment, so really I should, probably shouldn't say this, but they've held up really, really well to this brushless power. Of course, you know, you're not bashing these like you do trucks, pulling wheelies, hitting bat flips, etc., which puts a lot of strain on the differentials. This is more you know, throttling on flat surfaces and, and, and minor power bursts. So, as you can see, this thing is no slack when it comes to raw power and it will drift very, very easily. Power slide, drift. I absolutely love the NASCAR Groms, guys. They are great platforms for racing. We'll do a little speed pass here. Lock it, lock it in here. Like I said, they are great cars, guys. Got a Walmart worker checking out the show here. I'm gonna dial in this gyro a little better here and see if that makes a difference. Yeah, that was better. All right, here we go. I think I got the gyro dialed in too much. All right, we've shut down, so we probably went into overheat mode here. Give it a second, it'll kick back up. That's the thing about drifting and power sliding with this high gearing is it, it tends to overheat rather quickly so just give it a minute but yeah guys that's the low c nascar mike truish jr bass pro shop all right we're back in business here 
I'm gonna do a quick launch for you guys. Here we go, one, two, three. Ah! Woo! Pure power. Oh, tumble, wumble. Looks like I hit something down this slope here. Where's she at? There she is. I want to see if I can jump that, actually. That little slope coming down right there. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, that was, that was bad to the bone. Oh, I jumped it. Here we go. Come up. Nice. That was awesome, guys. down the slope here. I wonder why it flipped. All right, here we go, launching it. Oh, hopefully I got that on camera. That was awesome. Let's try that again. Let's launch that bad boy again. Let's get a little more speed this time. All right, here we go, launch time. Oh yeah. He's coming around, lap 120. Daytona, Truex Jr.'s in the lead. He's coming around again, he's coming around the lap. Truex takes the inside, he's in the lead. Coming in first place, he comes back around. And we have shut down, guys. I know we didn't, thought we did. Truex Jr. coming in for the lead. Yep, we shut down, all right. We're going to go ahead and kill it there, guys. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed this seven-minute video of the Losi NASCAR putting down the power. As always, guys, I appreciate you tuning in to the channel. I'm going to go ahead and shut this bad boy down. But I, I don't think the battery's dead, guys. I think it's just getting to that, that over, overheat protection mode and... So that's why I want another one of these. I'm probably gonna go with the Napa or the Menards car this time. And uh, I'm gonna gear it to where it's it's not super fast top end wise, it's super fast off the line. Just because I don't wanna run into any overheatings, you know, like we're doing now. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look at that. Give y'all a quick dive under the hood real quick. Let's get under the hood to let y'all check out the, the castle powered system here. Sorry guys, I'm trying to do this one handed. Alright guys, as you can see, Castle Mamba Micro X2, Dumbo RC with the gyro running the DDF 350 transmitter, Castle 1010. 4400 kV, 120C discharge, 4S. And let me go ahead and cut the power real quick. Again, CNHL, 1800 milliamp, CNHL, 120C, 4S. This thing's really putting down the power, guys. I'm telling you. If you can get your hands on one of these cars, guys, they are awesome. <laughs> They are absolutely awesome. Let me dump the dirt out. Oh, I forgot I have my battery loose. Darn it. Shouldn't have done that, but oh well. I got this thing double wrapped, so it's pretty sturdy. But yeah, guys, so the DDF350, that's the transmitter I'm using. DDF350 by Dumbo RC. Got a nice LCD screen. It's got telemetry, all the bells and whistles. 
We'll unpower that down. But yeah, guys, super, super nice car. Absolutely love it. That's why I'm going to buy another one because I love it so much. But yeah, guys, these tires, they're not really showing yet. But I mean, I can feel that there's, you mean, I can pinch it here and it's starting to thin out. But check out the trashy, low C, race inspired. So this is the Grom platform that Arma has come out with. And, you know, Losi and Arma are both owned by Horizon Hobbies. So they're, you know, sharing platforms and ideas. So, so like, again, super, super good car, guys. I can't wait. Hopefully somebody will come out with either the Infraction Grom or the, um, the Limitless Grom or even a felony grom any of the streetcar groms would be would be awesome but since we got the losi nascar i was hoping that one of the makers would come out with either an infraction body or a felony body that would uh fit on this because this is the perfect platform for the infraction guys you just make a little infraction body boom you know charge like 50 60 bucks for the body or if you want one that's logoed like the like the infraction nascar body it's 100 bucks for the big one so charge 50 bucks you know for the grom version and they'll sell like hotcakes but anyway guys thanks for tuning in i appreciate it guys we're gonna get ready to rip the high power granite grom completely built to the max all metal everything but that'll come in another video anyway guys as always thanks for watching Thanks for subscribing, guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I see a bunch of people watching my videos, but you're not subscribing. It only takes a second, guys, and it really helps out the channel. It shows me that you guys are interested, so I'll keep making content, and I really appreciate it. So please, smash the like button. Drop a comment below. If you have any questions, I'll get back to you really, really quick. As always, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Peace.